Welcome to CG Timer. My name is Emma Chen. In this video tutorial, we are going to create crab walking on the surface. We are going to use uh, characters, animation, toolkits, Noah's cat plugin to create motion for the crab. We will start from um, create a uh, platform. As you can see, I have already um, created a simple plan and load up my logo image. Okay. So now I trace the Taiwan and with a line tool and now ex extrude it. Okay. Change the color if if you want. And uh, now we don't need this anymore. Okay. The next thing is um create simple create a simple plan for the crab to run and um, preset set the um, step size to um, um, 20 by 20 okay and uh, now I'll convert this plan to ed edible mesh and um, select um, four surface, uh, four face and faces, and um, extrude, extrude it. and uh, extrude it again this just um, to create a hole for the crab after you extrude the mesh apply a mesh smooth modifier to it now the surface looks like a hole The next thing, next thing is to um, we are going to create paths for our crab. Turn off the mesh smooth and um, um, first turn on the um, grip and snap setting and uh, check face and uh, edge. No, um. Sorry, uh, before we create a pass, uh, we need to create a another box. Oh crap. Okay, and um, Please adjust the box pivot point to here and uh, and uh, now rotate it roughly like so. Okay, now we are ready to create a path for our crab so now please turn on your snap setting and uh, create a line and um, now we are going to create 
line so This will create paths for our crab, and after you create it, please um, adjust some of the points, some of the vertices. If you don't like, uh, for example, this one, I'll move it forward. And uh, maybe turn it to smooth, so it will be uh, more natural. Okay. So now we are ready to um, create the crab. We're going to use um, go to um, create panel and um, helper, and you will see a cat object. Create a cat parent object on the top viewport oops please select the presets there's a uh, end biped crown and crab so now I create size like so so now you have uh, this crab and um now we are going to do is um, I'm going to create a dummy. This dummy will be uh, go to uh, helper and the uh, standard and dummy. Click and drag create a dummy object. The, the, um, the crab will following the dummy pass um, constraint to the spline okay go to motion panel and uh, assign controller select position and uh, please select pass constraint now add a pass uh, select the line we just created and please check the follow as you can see now the dummy follow the um, pass of the this spline okay now go back and select any go back and select any bone of your um, character studio to get crab and um, um, select the ABS icon and uh, scroll uh, move down, you will see this uh, a green people running. Please select it. It will create a cat motion layer. And uh, select this uh, red icon and select the green one. Okay. Now play the animation, you will see the crab uh, walking in place. So now click on this pong shape uh, icon. It will pop up a uh, cat motion interface, select the global, and now please um, on the stripe parameter, you will see a pass node, and please click on it and uh, select the dummy. Um, you will see the dummy on the crab um, working, but uh, not uh, wrong orientation. So. Um, So you have to fix it. Um, so please select the dummy and uh, turn on the angle snap toggle and uh, change the uh, coordination to uh, local and uh, rotate the y axis to mi minus 90 degree. Okay. Now, uh, 
As you can see, now the crab seems to um, walk out from on the hole and uh, climb onto the onto Taiwan. <laughs> and um, there's a several thing you can put it around. Um, Select any bone of the crab and um, click on this icon. Um, you can play around with the um, maximum step step time, maximum length, max, maximum stride length. If I if I lower down this from 160 to 100, you will see automatically regenerate the footstep for of the crab. If I enhance this to um, 200, you will see the crab um, have a wider stride. Okay. Another thing you can play around is the um, the dummies uh, animation. As you can see, we have already applied path constraint to it. And um, it just from zero frame from the first vertice round to the last vertice of the of the line. So, um, but it, however, you can keyframe it. For example, if it here um, you can turn on auto key and um, dec um, you can set a key. And um, when we come to here. You can decrease the along pace value, so it will looks like the crab uh, walk. Oops, it will looks like the crab uh, walk backward and then forward. So now let's play it again. Ah, oops. Uh, Sorry, um, I set it to uh, here. Okay, play again. The character animation toolkit will regenerate the footstep, so you will see the crab walk out from the hole and then walk back. And the last thing you can play around is the. Um, the foot footstep. You can see this um, small icon. This are uh, re represent the foot. So you are if you are not satisfied with the footstep. For example, those foot are um, are not on the ball, as you can see. Um, so. Uh, Change your selection limitation to uh, helper, and um, now you can select all this help uh, footstep and then move it inward. Okay, so now um, if you play the animation again, the footstep hours will stay well within the Ball. Okay. So um, so that's it. Um, it's very um, with the character studio toolkit. It's a very powerful uh, toolkit for your um, for the character animation. And uh, although it looks very complex, but uh, it, it is quite simple. Um, so thank you for watching this video tutorial and bye.